Hi, everybody, and welcome to AQ's Blog and Grill. We're excited to have a, a guest return, and um, artist entrepreneur Jennifer Goff is with us today. There's been a lot of exciting things happening lately with Mind's Eye Studio and some of the art that she's producing. So we asked Jennifer to come back and share with us. Jennifer is very high in our viewership, and I think it's a lot of artists who are looking uh, to follow the example that Jennifer gives us in terms of how do you create and create a business at the same time. So that's, I think, been really important to our viewership. So thank you, Jennifer, and thank you for coming back. Thank you for having me, Alan. Oh, great. So you were mentioned in Forbes magazine, and I'm, I'm just wondering, how did that feel? That was amazing. That was such a such a great boost, you mm -hmm. know, when uh, you're working really hard and you're trying to achieve goals and, you know, you and to get recognition like that is uh, is really, really feels good. And well deserved. I think uh, the author of the story uh, is actually doing a series on art and business. Mm -hmm. And so you were one of 14, 20 people across North America, even including Europe, that he thought were, was doing a good job in not just promoting yourself, but creating interesting new. Um, what would you call your work? It's abstract, contemporary? Yeah, I usually tell people abstract, contemporary, and mixed media. You know, we spoke about Twitter mm -hmm. and uh, last time I was on and uh, how opportunities can come through there. And the, the Forbes article came to me through a contact that I know through Twitter. Okay. And Jason Bourbet is a very well-known, very, um, he's an excellent artist. He's a wonderful businessman mm -hmm. and uh, he writes for Forbes. And so we were connected through Twitter and uh, he approached me to be one of 21 contemporary artist studios uh, that he was featuring in his, in his article. Yeah. I mean, one of the reasons you were in the Forbes article was because of your ability to combine the art and the business. And I mean, you quit a career and said, I'm stopping this and I'm becoming an artist. I mean, it was like a Saturday and by Monday morning you were an artist. That's the kind of person I am. <laughs> I'm like, once I make a decision on something, I, I usually just go 100% full force ahead. Mm -hmm. And the only way that I could see success as an artist um, was to quit my job and fully immerse myself into that into that world. And, um, you know, it ended up being the best thing I could have done, the best choice I could have made. 